This is a quick video on why a belt drive bike is better than a chain drive bike. So we'll start out with the belt. So on a belt drive bike, you've got a drive belt similar to what you'd have in your car or like on the Harleys for the last 50 years have used belts made by the same company. This is a Gates belt. So if you're looking for a belt, I recommend looking for one that has a Gates carbon fiber drive belt on it because they've been making belts for ever like all the belts under the hood of your car and it's just proven technology you know it's going to be reliable and you know it's going to work the estimated range or or life of a belt is 18,600 miles or 30 kilometers so that's a lot longer than a chain that this thing is going to last without any problems it also you can see i'm touching it and i'm not getting oil all over my fingers so you don't have to oil it you really don't have to do much to it other than check the tension every once in a while and gates has an app where you just tweak it and it makes a, a sound. And then the app listens to it and tells you if you need to tighten it or loosen it. It's also very quiet and it's very smooth to pedal. And you'll notice that there is no rear derailleur. So if you're on an e-bike like this one, the electric motor is back there to give me help if I need help to go up a hill. And that's where you wanna choose the right gearing. I really like 60 in front and 22 in the back. It's, it's perfect for cruising along at 20 miles an hour with a little help from the motor. So this is an old mountain bike that I ride to get exercise every week. So it probably has between 5,000 and, and 8,000 miles on it right now. I've replaced the rear gears three times. I've replaced the chain three times. I've replaced the rear derailleur once. And I've replaced the cables because they've gotten all rusty. And you can see just how crusty and filthy it is. You know, if I was to touch it, it you get dirt all over your hands, you get dirt on your pants. And the fact is, it's just not as long lasting as that one. The belt drive bike should go three times as long as I've gone with this one without having to replace anything. Now I do ride on the beach and I ride in the rain and this is my no excuses exercise bike. No matter what's happening, no matter if it's having crappy shifting, no matter if it's dirty, no matter if the rain's coming down, I always ride this bike. So it's my go-to exercise bike. So I really have abused it, but I also believe if this was a belt, it would be in perfect shape at this point versus being all rusty and crusty and having been replaced three times. You can see, you can see the chain here doesn't even stay straight because it's, it's starting to rust out. So it's probably time for chain number four on this bike at this point. Last weekend, the wind was so bad, it blew sand all over the bike path. And I was still able to take the belt drive bike out and grind through the sand with it. And I didn't really have to worry about it getting into the chain or anything else. The, the sand just basically falls off once it's done bouncing around on your belt. And that means you can go out and get into mud and gravel and shenanigans and dirt and plants and not really worry about your drivetrain while you're doing it. So if you're looking for an e-bike that's belt driven, I love this 10 ways. And this is the 10 ways CGO 600 Pro e-bike. It comes with hydraulic brakes. It's got, um, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's a, a Mevice 350 watt rear motor. And this rear motor, supposedly has a clutch in it so that when you're freewheeling it it just lets you cruise forever versus some of the other motors you can feel a lot of resistance when you stop pedaling this one you can you can coast a lot further and that means you can ride it like a normal bike so i like to put it in zero mode uh, for a workout like in this case i did 13.6 miles an hour and i got a good heart workout with the motor in zero mode basically turned off and it definitely doesn't feel like a normal bike with that electric motor back there but it's pretty close and i can still go pretty fast and get a workout so you want to look for a torque sensor you want to look for something that really responds well to pedal inputs and then uh it's got hydraulic disc brakes adjustable handlebar. And if you're gonna have a regular pedal bike and not an e-bike, they make internal hub shifters. So it looks a lot like an electric motor, but inside of it, it'll have either a CVT transmission or three gears or seven gears that you can shift between. So you definitely can get a rear shifter on a belt drive bike as well, if you wanna go analog, if you don't wanna have an electric bike. And then some of the other belt drive bikes will have a gearbox up here. So there are some belt drive bikes that have a gearbox in the front as well. So if you want a bunch of gears, you could definitely can do it if you have a belt drive bike. So hope that helps you make your decision. Um, it's definitely gonna be more money for the belt, but I don't know. I mean, I, like I've had to ride home with a broken chain. I've had to ride home with a broken derailleur. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, and then, you know, having the chain skip and skip and skip and having to replace the, the rear stack three times. So, if you're a heavy user or if you just don't want 
to deal with the hassle of keeping your bike clean. This works really well. They say you, you barely need to clean it. You can just kind of brush the dust out of it. Dirt doesn't really stick in it. And there are some, some YouTubers that have gone around the world on bikes and a lot of them ride belt drive bikes and they can explain it better than I do. But basically it's super reliable. You can ride through mud. And the only downside is the parts availability if you're in some weird country where they've never heard of a belt drive before. So I hope that helps you make the right decision. Uh, if you're on a bike, you made the right decision. And uh, it's just a matter of what your style is, what your budget is, and if you want to give the belt a try. I highly recommend it now that I've tried a couple of belt drive bikes. And I really like this particular one.